Hello, this is Jort Althuizen from the Netherlands, and I was the guy that wanted to see if you guys were ready to make your wild card really wild. So let's go. Who am I? I am a 32-year-old Dutchman, born and raised here in the Netherlands, which is a tiny country sandwiched between Germany and England, and I am a barbecue enthusiast all the way. What is the origin of my love for barbecue? Well, I studied hotel management, and both of my internships I did in the States, which was in Florida. Now, Florida is not very known for its barbecue, but I actually met somebody there who is now currently my wife. She's from Ohio and she has relatives living in Colorado. We visited them there and I stumbled up, up, upon something called Frisco's Barbecue Challenge. And I think it's a, the highest altitude barbecue competition. And what I saw there really opened my eyes. The main street was lined with bold cookers, like huge, bigger than I've ever seen, and all these brave men cooking their meats and uh, open fires, and I was really intrigued because here in Holland we have none of that. So, you know, having that ex experience and uh, coming back to the Netherlands, I really felt like I should change the game here because in Holland, it's, you know, barbecuing is considered hot and fast. So, you know, thin slices of meat cooked on open fire, having to be done real fast and uh, mostly, you know, charred and black on the outside and raw on the inside, you know, you know the deal. So um, seeing that opportunity and having the hospitality degree that I have and a boatload of experience working in kitchens, I thought it was time to change the game here in Holland. So what I did is I found somebody else who was also interested and intrigued by barbecuing and we started Smoky Goodness Barbecue Catering. And within a short period of only two years, that has grown into the largest barbecue catering company offering quality barbecue food here in Holland. So what do we do? We cater the largest festivals. We have catered up to 60,000 visitors at a hard rock festival, for instance, uh, cranking out insane amounts of food, uh, all cooked, authentic, low and slow. You know, our ribs, we sold about 2,000 pounds of ribs on one day. They had all been in the smoker for six hours, you know, membrane removed, rubbed by hand, sprayed by hand, foiled by hand, unfoiled by hand, licked by sauce, back in the smoker, cut piece by piece. We do it authentically. Besides being able to cater to the largest masses at festivals, we also do these private events and you know we build rigs that can ca are capable of smoking whole hogs, which we are the only guys in Holland doing that. And uh, that has given me a lot of flying hours cooking all sorts of meat. You know, I don't care if it's a big whole hog or if it's a chunk of a cow, the whole forequarter, we just chuck it in there and we kiss it by smoke and we make it tender and, you know, people love it. Um, so, you know, having all these great reviews and all these people being so ecstatic about our cookery, I thought it was really time to also test my skills in uh, barbecue competitions. There was only one small problem. There weren't an awful lot of competitions here in Holland at all. I think uh, up till now in Holland itself, we've only had two KCBS sanctioned events. And the first one I unfortunately had to miss due to a wedding that I had to attend. And the second one I actually did join. And I didn't make it easy on myself because it was also my birthday. So during prep day, I decided to do first uh, two whole hog demonstrations together with Jim Johnson from the States, which was an awesome experience. And then I hosted my birthday party. And then around 10 o'clock at night, I actually started doing my prep. So how did I do? Um, I did actually fairly well, I thought, you know, um, doing it for the first time. Uh, I uh, started doing my prep and I actually got helped a little bit by some other teams that showed me how to do it. And the, you know, I'll show you a couple of funny things. There was one team that showed me how to do chicken. I hadn't had a clue how to do chicken. They came eighth, I believe, in the competition out of 40 teams. My chicken ended up third. So I beat, I beat my teacher on that one. But that's not the biggest, uh, you know, there's even something more funny to tell about that one. Never touched a brisket in my life before I did this uh, first KCBS style competition. No clue what to do. So somebody else came over and t showed me a little bit here and there. You know, this is how you cut it. This is the point. This is the flat. You might want to do this. You might want to do that. Make sure your meat's on at this time, etc. So he kind of, you know, showed me the ropes. And then I took it from there. So I put my meat on the cooker. My cooker goes AWOL, temperature control, not, nothing like I wanted it to be. It went really, really hot and uh, my, my beef was uh, up to temp within no time. So I was freaking out. And I, I mean, if I tell you I'm freaking out, I am freaking out. I go full fury. Uh, so running around like a headless chicken on the, on the competition site. And, you know, I tried to keep my uh, temper under control, let it all sit. And, and, you know, the next day I just hand in my brisket as a Hail Mary and I was like, you know what? First brisket ever cooked, I don't care where you end up. Let me show you. First brisket I ever cooked in my life became first at the Tony Stone Low and Slow competition in 2013. So, you know, even though we don't have a lot of competitions, I don't yet have a lot of bragging rights that will qualify me as a barbecue pit master, 
uh, you know, attendee or something. I think that the fact that I've done only one competition, getting a first prize in category brisket, a third prize in category chicken, cooking up a storm here in Holland, you know, performing at my best and showing everybody what true authentic barbecue is all about, really does qualify me to be on your show. Speaking of your show, how did I learn about your show? Well, of course, I'm always browsing the internet for barbecue inspiration, and then I heard about the show Barbecue Pitmasters. Unfortunately, it doesn't air here in Holland, so what I had to do is I had to create this fake American account so I could go into the American iTunes store and download all your episodes. So I've seen them all, and I'm very much intrigued by your show, and I really hope that you guys give me an opportunity to fly over there and uh, show you guys what a Dutchman can do who's only been cooking barbecue for about three years. And I think I can you know, definitely deliver a mean punch when it comes to competition style barbecue because it doesn't matter what you throw at me, whether it's beef, pork, chicken, mutton, snake, if it has had a heartbeat, I can cook it better than most of you guys over on the other side of the pond. So I'm pretty uh, sure you guys are interested in what I use to cook with. Uh, you know, basically I cook with a lot of stuff. I have a multitude of barbecues and um, Ceramic cookers are one of them. I can kick some serious butt even on ugly drum smokers. Killer, killer cookers. I love them. And this little guy, ah, you know, I just use it to cold smoke my butter and uh, stuff for uh, cookery, but that's not going to go anywhere. Those tiny barbecues I've shown you before don't really pack a punch, so we added a few more toys to our collection last summer. One of them is the PR72T from Meadow Creek Smoker. I use it to cook up my whole hogs, which I slow roast in about 14 to 16 hours to really get that uh, slow and tender meat. And I also use it to cook my uh, large chunks of uh, pulled pork in it. I can cook up to 300 pounds of pulled pork in one go. And of course, you know, we got a ride in style, so I got the Chevy van. We've uh, decked it out a little bit, but then, uh, you know, to really pack a punch, we added a nice uh, last uh, toy addition, which is Little Yankee. But you know what? I ain't no fool. I understand. You guys are going to be shooting barbecue pit masters over in Florida, and it will require a really heavy plane to holler this 6,000 pound cooker over to your guys' shooting area. So that ain't going to happen. But does that worry me? Hell no! Because my fire is going to be a swift left, and my seasoning is going to be a swift right, and then my fire is going to be an uppercut, and the meat you give me is going to be the punch that knocks the competition out. You know, I can even cook a better quality steak on a pair of six-year-old braces, so I ain't worried about no competition. Bring it on. So if I were to fly over and join your barbecue competition, would I do it by myself? Of course not. I would bring my most trusted barbecue soldier along with me, Michiel. Hey, Michiel. Yeah, chef. What do you think about barbecuing in the States? Sounds good. Maybe we could teach him a thing or two. You get it organized and we'll be there. All right, we'll get it hooked up. No problem. So he's the guy who's going to join me then. So why is it so important for me to have Michiel along my side in barbecue competitions? Well, I'll tell you. When I'm in a competition, I go for the win. And when something goes wrong or when something seems to go wrong, my temper can get pretty heated. Michiel, he keeps both my meat and my temper under control. Why do I think that you guys should fly me over to your competition? Well, let me tell you. You know, I might not have all the bragging rights, but like I said, KCBS has only just started here in Holland, and we are going to be joining about five or six competitions this year, showcasing what we can do. But I think it would just be mean and, you know, really, really funny if the Americans are doing this competition and this crazy Dutchman comes from their blind spot. You know, and first of all, they'll probably be laughed, like, what does this European know about barbecue? But then here is my result, and it's like, pow, in your face, buddy. My meat beat your meat by far. Oh, that would be so hilarious, and I'll bet that would be great TV as well. So there you have it. That's why I think your old houses should join Barbecue Pit Masters over in the States, and we'll together make some killer TV. And, you know, for me, you know, it's not aired here in Holland at all, but damn would it be a good fun adventure to do. Thank you for watching and let me see what the results will be. You want to pull my pork? <laughs>